Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rejoice. This is where we get to listen to some of the never-released archival recordings from the Ottawa Symphony's 55 years of performing in the community. Merci de vous joindre à nous alors que nous revenons à certains des meilleurs moments de l'Orchestre Symphonique d'Ottawa. Today's recording has some special significance. The composer, Kelly Marie Murphy, was honored this month with the 2020 Jules Léger Prize for New Chamber Music by the Canada Council for the Arts. We would like to offer huge congratulations to Kelly Marie for this outstanding accomplishment. L'Orchestre Symphonique d'Ottawa a interprété cette composition de Murphy, A Thousand Natural Shocks, en janvier de 2019. Murphy dit que l'idée de la pièce est que les changements et les nouveaux départs peuvent être choquants et stressants, mais aussi pleins de défis fantastiques qui sont finalement aussi gratifiants qu'ils sont nécessaires. But first, support from individual donors like you is an important part of our orchestra's funding. Please consider helping to keep the Ottawa Symphony's strings tuned and keys oiled, particularly during this challenging time. Les donateurs individuels comme vous sont très importants pour nous. Vous pouvez faire une différence dans votre communauté en soutenant l'Orchestre Symphonique d'Ottawa. Making a donation is easy and rewarding. Just visit ottawasymphony.com slash donate. Good evening, everyone. Bonsoir à tous. Welcome to tonight's concert with the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra. My name is Kelly Marie Murphy. I'm originally from Calgary, but I've made Ottawa my home for the past 18 years. Uh, on tonight's broadcast, uh, the Ottawa Symphony will be performing a piece of mine called A Thousand Natural Shocks, which was written 20 years ago. And the reason I know this off the top of my head is because uh, I also had a baby 20 years ago, <laughs> and the two coincided uh, in a crazy kind of a way. Um, so A Thousand Natural Shocks was commissioned by the CDC for the Vancouver Orchestra, specifically um, for Bramwell Tovey's inaugural um, year and first concert as music director with the Vancouver Symphony. So it was quite um, uh, a piece that I thought needed celebration and you know something that showed the type of conductor that um, Maestro Tovey would continue to be. Um, and so I wanted things that were exciting and flashy and um, you'll hear in this piece uh, the use of conch shells um, so kind of uh, borrowing that celebration from the puja ceremony and tuned conch shells um, being performed by the trumpet section in various places lots of percussion as I'm sure you've come to um, expect in in my pieces so um it was you know it came it came together rather quickly because it had to like I, i've worked on it um and i was almost finished the piece um and my daughter was born <laughs> so the the ending um comes a little fast and uh you know has a certain urgency about it but um the piece has gone on to have great performances uh, across the country, and um, it, it always brings me back to that point in time. Um, the title, uh, A Thousand Natural Shocks, is um, actually from Hamlet's soliloquy, To Be or Not To Be, um, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. I wanted to sort of reflect on the fact that um, Maestro Tovey was taking a new role moving from Winnipeg to Vancouver to be music director um, and the newness of all those things. Um, I obviously was going through uh, a few things of my own um, and in addition I was also I was moving back to Canada from uh, after living in the Washington DC area for a number of years. So um, I wanted a piece that really spoke to those types of, you know, that you have to um, kind of give your all and and uh, dive in and um, not worry about the consequences. So um, I hope you enjoy this performance by the Ottawa Symphony. Um, bonsoir et bon concert.
This episode of Rejoice was brought to you by several community supporters. Nous tenons également à remercier nos commanditaires et partenaires. The City of Ottawa, the University of Ottawa, the Ontario Arts Foundation, the Ottawa Community Foundation, the Crabtree Foundation, the Canada Council for the Arts, and our presenting sponsor, of course, Alterna Savings. Rejoice is brought to you by the musicians past and present of the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra. Thanks for listening and join us next time for another episode of Rejoice. Merci de votre attention et à la prochaine.